Hey everybody, I'm TVG Hunter, and welcome to the final episode of Costume Quest 2! Yes, it's been a long time coming, sadly still couldn't hit the end date of it, I'm very sorry once again. But yes, welcome to the finale. Now you may notice a few different things. I got the wizard, the ghost, and the pharaoh upgrades while in between, because I said I'd do that in the last part. I got a few... Creepy, creepy tree cards. I decided to switch it out for the final fight. We got fudge crystals, uh, waffers because, well, we're not really going to the final fight with anything that will heal, so it's best to have a healer. Uh, creepy tree card. Headless horsemen because, you know, three amazing attacks is pretty good for what we're going ahead. And fudge crystals because one part customer in particular we are going to give because it will give it splash damage. Now, before we do any of that, I want to talk to the kid over here. Got the smoochies. Once you can actually find the smoochies card inside the uh, little, like, small neighborhood thing Dr. White made. It's on the Crestwalker scientist in there. Just beat him up and you'll take it off them. And for that, we got the, if I can find it, Tontai's perfect counter on the next three defense. Hmm. Pretty good, actually. I like the ton ties, ton bow tie stuff. Now, before we go to the final fight, there were two things I want to do before that. First things first, show off the new costumes upgrades because I told you I'd do that before the series ended. So here we go, the spooky green ghost, and we turn Gandalf the black into Gandalf the white. And probably I like the most aesthetic-wise is the Anubis or Anubis Pharaoh upgrade because it changes it into an Anubis with just like giving it dog ears. You three drones are the last step in ass kickery that I need to do before this series ends. Well, sort of. Zap. Zap. Sadly, this is going to be a pain in the ass to fight these drones because I don't have anything strong against them. Damn, even for being weak against it, Pharaoh kicks ass. I'm gonna ju we'll just take out the first stone drone. I don't want to be attacked twice in a row, so I might, well, wipe him out since he's low on health. Let's attack on you. I probably could have focused attack on him and I could have hit both with the ability, but eh, whatever. Anubis, take it out. Done. So yeah, that's the three last costumes that I got the upgrades for in their entirety. Uh, 436. I guess I could get one last creepy tree card for the road. What What do you say, Shady? One more for the road. Well, screw you. I guess one last drink for the road. That's... The hell just happened with you, Oral? Did, did you just see that? Literally, he just walked right through the wall. Maybe it's, I should have given him the ghost costume. Holy hell. And speaking of the ghost costume, for some odd reason, there's a really weird gl glitch with it if you give it its upgrade. Because instead of being transparent, it just turns white. I know, it's weird. Anyways, right there. Five out of six kids. The last kid is all the way up here. I want to avoid that fight so I don't have to waste any more time because he is hidden back up here. I guess I should make notice while I was doing candy grinding all over the place. There is a pinata back here. You have to fight a mole to get it. So, fair warning, I didn't show it off because honestly, it, it literally jumped me. You found me. Now what? Hey, you found all of us. You're good. Here, take this experimental bucket we snatched from Grandfather White's research lab. And for that, we get the most Halloween-y thing ever. We get... Sci-Fi Bucket. Alright, I'll, I'll go for it. It's time. Back to the research lab. Alright, so I did a little costume switch. I'm going to show off the uh, galaxy costume. Or, well, the solar system costume. I call it the galaxy costume because that's pretty much what the solar system is as well. Because I didn't show its upgrade, but that's what we're going to be showing in the final fight. Not the game. Uh, I decided to let Reynold keep his Gandalf the White costume because 
it's probably going to be best bet with its splash damage. Plus, it's going to be strong against what we're going ahead. And you might be wondering why I gave or a little Oro over here candy corn. Well, you'll see. You'll see. So let's just head on in. And there's the talisman. All right, that was easy. Maybe we don't have to fight anything after all. Uh, of course. Ow, ow, ow! That was my ear! Sorry, Overlord White. This was the first time I tried to turn on your combat suit with you in it. I'm not used to your ear being there. Touch my ear again, and you'll get to be my practice dummy. Now hurry up and calibrate this thing. I need to be ready in case those kids come snooping around for my talisman. Uh-oh. What's this? What are you doing? How did you get that? <laughs> I see. Nice trick. Is this blast from the past supposed to shake me up? And he's dead, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, he disintegrated him. You think that I try to stop... If I try to stop you, it'll mess up my timeline and blink me out of here. Ha! Huh. Well, kinda yeah. If you kill yourself when you're younger, you will cease to exist. Well, I don't need to lay a finger on you. I know what this boy wants. He's me. Look at me, Oral. This is your future. It's everything you ever dreamed of. You will be the ruler of this city one day. And you will have candy anytime you want. See? Wow, anytime I want? All you have to do is follow what is in your heart. Give me back the talisman and go live your dream. Don't listen to him, Moro. He's crazy. I don't want. You don't want to be crazy, remember? Who do you think you are, Brett? Can't you not say that I'm 20 feet tall and can stomp you into a pancake on a whim? Who are you going to take advice from, Oral? Some kids you've known for a short time? Or yourself? Uh, uh. Sorry, Oral. We don't have time for this. We got a timeline to fix. See, Oral? They're not to be trusted. Help me put an end to this. Final boss time, ladies and gentlemen, and look at that beautiful black hole of a galaxy. Or, now. And I, I like it. it. It's literally just become a black hole. And the fact that it's a black hole, there are no plants around it anymore. These children don't know you like I do, Oral. They don't know our potential. I mean, look at me. Look at this power. And here's why I decided... I, I forgot he got to attack first. Haha, <laughs> these children are going to pay for violating my rules. Our rules. So we got three targets. We got a, his left pick and his right pick. Now... I'm going to hit him with a no, so that it'll pretty much do heavy damage to those picks. Maybe it'll destroy him in one go, hopefully. Dun, 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 Or, not enough. Alright, let's hit him with a doomstick! You shall not pass! Now's your chance, Oral. Show these kids who's boss. Give me the talisman. Don't listen to him, Oral. You're better than this. But he's me! I'm confused! He's the worst version of you, Oral. 
You can't do- You can do things differently this time. Uh, uh... Candy corn will get the next one. Keep the talisman- Keeping the talisman then? I see you've made your choice to be sniveling- To be a sniveling brat like them. Choices have consequences. I like the defense, uh, like the counter thing for the galaxy now because it. I like the monochrome style it gets. Are you going to attack from space? I didn't mean to attack his main body! Um, uh, creature card. I'm going to give splash damage to. I didn't mean to give it to you, Gandalf. Damn it! This fight isn't going well! Right pick is on fire. Alright, this time. Ren, attack the pick, you prick. Oh, the fudge crystals actually affect everyone. That's good. Uh, nothing much I can do because they're defending themselves with those picks, so we gotta take those out. Wow, that's exp- Ow, that's expensive technology! You pick squeaks are gonna pay for that! Candy Corn passes the buck! Right pick is on fire. Have Galaxy take out right pick. Go, my fleet! We'll have Reynold focus, focus attack on his main body. Candy corn is delicious. Let me show you what happens when you spend a lifetime brushing and flossing and whitening. Oh no. He's charging up for a super attack. Quick! Creepy tree card! Headless horseman! damage to him and now for the first time ever candy corn can be useful give him a nice little glisten oral <laughs> oh great I think I just made the universe implode in on itself <sighs> give me a minute Okay, that everything should be fixed now. Sorry about that. My my teeth! You ruined my gorgeous smile! Alright, you switched to blasters now. Sadly, we don't have anything strong to combat against them because we'd have to sacrifice candy corn and be left vulnerable to that high-powered attack. So we're gonna take out the left blaster as Ren. So we can get those out of the way fast, because I don't think you can defend against those. Moderate damage to the right blaster, and white is himself. Uh, should I hit them with a doomstick? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I should. Wow, he really turned in the Gandalf the white right there. Holy hell, he cleaned the black off him. Wow, that came out worse than I expected it to. But it's true! It's true! Look at him! Um, hit the right blaster with no. I, 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 I apologize heavily for what I just said. I, I, I couldn't stop myself. I'm sorry, I couldn't. It was right there! No, please! Please! No! No, don't blow me up! No! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Well, this should finish out the blasters. I'll focus the attack right on the left blaster. Focus the lightning. Left blaster should be out of the picture. Nope. Here's a cool shot of candy corn. Wow, he... Wow. 
Ganicorn's nice and bright now. All right, take out that left blaster, damn it. Reynold, focus your attack on him. I missed the timing on that, really? I love this new combat suit. I'm simply blaming. So we don't have anything to defend ourselves against this special move, so we're gonna have to, well, we're gonna have to buckle down for it. Reynolds gonna die from this if I don't heal up, so creepy cheat card. Shaffer's War? Wa Shaffer Waffers? I think that Shaffer's Waffers, whatever. Everyone's healed up. Hopefully this will be enough to hold out against this attack. Gannicorn takes up space. I wish he'd take up less space. Be delicious, damn it! Huh, that wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. No, what you're laughing at, we're all perfectly fine. Immediately we all drop over dead. Alright, fleet, engage the target! Capital ship, focus fire! It's almost done for, only 1200 health left. I love this new combat suit. I'm so oh god, he's starting up another special. I think this is pretty much what he's going to focus on in his entirety. Since we took out his pigs, we took out his blasters, there's nothing left for him to do to attack us, so he's just going to focus on this unblockable attack. Only eight, 868 left. Can we finish him off before he kills us? 635! If Ganycorn had arms, he'd fight would be so over. Quick, someone get some sunglasses! Once more for the road. I guess you could say this is literal galactic conquest. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Man, I gotta play more Battlefront. Three ninety-five. It's time we end this. One last doomstick should be the end of this whole ordeal. The timeline will be fixed, and Halloween will be saved. Or he could be holding it on with ninety-seven health left. Of course, even in the last boss fight, he's still holding on with a smidge of health. All right, fine. Fleet, wipe him out. Oh my god, we made him so depressed that he left existence. Wow, we beat the crap out of that suit. You're done, Dr. White. This is going back to its rightful owners. Give it to me. Give me that. It's mine. It's funny. This world would... This world you made where everybody is supposed to have white teeth? is rotten. Tell me about it. Let's get back let's get the candy back to its, the beeple. He must have literally eaten the costume off him with that attack because he's back to his normal attire. No! Come back here with that. My beautiful utopia will be ruined. How did I ever get to be so pathetic? I'm pathetic. What do you think that makes you? A new man. I knew we were right to put our trust in you. I don't know how we ever, how we'd ever thank you guys. You saved Halloween. 
can start by taking this taking my licorice when I get back to the past you better make sure mom and dad still get married you guys ha uh, uh, well none of that can happen until we restore the timeline don't worry I can't fix everything I broke things are going to be different this time Wait, what? What? And well, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We finally did it. Hey, Mom. Hey, or Oral. Oral's. Hey, Oral's here. You're just telling us how good, what good kids you are. You've made your father and I very proud. We love you very much. Mom! What, dear? It's Halloween. Don't get all mushy. Oh, right. Hi, Oral. Hi, kids. Long time no see. I haven't seen you since the last cleaning. So, everything is fine? You're okay with kids eating candy? Okay with it? I couldn't be happier. But... With everyone eating candy, businesses will be booming. Ha <laughs> ha! See, that's what exactly I was telling you at the beginning. You should let kids be happy with eating candy because then you'd have a lot of business. I don't. How did you? I mean, I'll catch up later, kid. Ren. For tonight, just enjoy Halloween. Eat candy and party with your friends. You know what? He's right. We should party. And we should party. As a rainbow clown. I was just showing my gratitude to Dr. White for getting your mayor to sign the Halloween Treaty. Halloween Treaty? On Halloween night, Repugans are allowed to come through the Monster Gate to party with the humans. We get to go back. We have to go back before midnight, but we get to dance and lead on, load on all the candy we want. Weird. Wow, Ren, way to way to be a dick. Hey, Dad. There you are. Can you believe that the King of the Grummans is here in our neighborhood? How is this that possible? What do you mean? You haven't been... You've been talking about it non-stop. About Dr. White... About how Dr. White's been laying the groundwork for this for years. And how the mayor finally signed off on it. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. So do you want to introduce you to the Grubbing King? No thanks, we've met. You have? Never seen that one before. Are you feeling okay, Ren? Hello, children. Are you ready to try a piece of my special cherry pie? Mmm, my favorite. I'll take a slice. Great, then come back in half an hour. They're all still cooling. But, but you got two slices right here. When you usually cut a slice out, that usually means it's ready to eat. You idiot! I don't know about all these monsters. They smell like feet. Wow. Mean. Music for fertilizes the soul. Hey, check it out. It's D'Artagnan. The Grubbin Elder over there is pretending to be the king of Repuga. The nerve! Actually, it's fine. They want to relax and eat candy. I really get it dancing. I just... I just don't want to make everyone look bad. That's code word for I can't dance to save my life. Hello, mommy boy. Yoshi. This block party is amazing. It totally justifies that weight. Who serves a vegetable platter at a Halloween party? Monsters, I tell you. Wait. I mean, seriously, the last thing anyone wants to eat is celery sticks. Is someone trying to inside a riot? It's just vegetables, you don't have to eat them. How can you be so 
Cavalar about this. Cavalier, Cavalar, whatever. Hey, check it out! Sorry we couldn't wait for you any longer. We finished... We figured you would catch up uh, up to us here. Why aren't you wearing your costumes? Lucy is going to show me Haley's comment later tonight. Costumes would just get in the way. In way of what? Oh, you know, stuff. Um, if she asks you to join us, do you mind not coming? Ah, I think I get it. Good luck, Everett. Yeah, I ne need it. I think we're gonna barf. What did you just say, Everett? Nothing. Everett and I are gonna check out Haley's comment up in my telescope tonight. Wanna come? Haley's comment, huh? Yep, it only happens once every 75 years. We'll pass. You guys enjoy yourselves. Suit yourself. After all, we got to be the galaxy. We don't we don't need no stinking comment. Hey Sadie, got any cool battle stamps? Battle stamps? What are those? There's nothing to battle around here, unless you count Travis. Nah, I just set up the stand without business in mind, really. It will come to me. Well, good luck. Hey, check it out, it's Monty. Monty, you're here. I've always lived here, but you knew that, right? Wait a minute. Did you jump out of one of them time holes again? Maybe. Well, I guess you worked it all out then, huh? Dr. White never caused any trouble after you left them years ago. In fact, he's been pretty cool. He's been a pretty cool guy. Can't say the same for Officer Nicholas. Would you believe that she's been parking... Put a parking ticket on my gator? I'm not paying for that. Okay, well, see you around, I guess. Later, alligator. Remember, smack a sleeping gator, it means good luck. Why does no one want to play Bob? Want to Bob for eyeballs? Blob doesn't understand humans. Yeah, why wasn't this in this game? At least have it like, like a mini game for the past. Hey, check it out, it's that one skeleton from the first game that was at the end. Do you do anything? No? Ah, oh, sad. Why is... Why is there a random goose sitting on the bench? Christmas is until a later ho later season. I still wish it was a Christmas DLC. The closest was Gribbons on Ice, but still. I brought my sacks out to help celebrate, but I guess nobody wants to hear some old fool honking around. We'd love to hear you, Mink. You kids are alright. Okay, try this one on for size. Smooth, Mink. Smooth. Thanks, man. Not bad for... Centauri Centaurian, huh? Whatever. Oh, wait! There he is! He's still sleeping back there. Ah, feels like only yesterday I randomly smacked the skeleton and had him walk down the street. Ah, memories. Bill Nobber and Pines was my dream since I was a kid. Now it's a thriving community. It's time to get my next venture off the ground. What's that? I'm going to start a company to build hover cars. Interesting. Hey, check it out. Familiar faces we haven't seen in literally ages. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. I don't know why my brother gets his fashion sense. Look at him. Hello, children. Would you like me to tell you what what the future holds? Thanks, but no thanks. We're just happy to be in the present. Present. Why did I just say the president? God, I cannot talk tonight. Can't wait to check out Zach's book. It looks so rad. I don't know what this line is for, but I don't want to miss out. Hey, look, it's this jerk. This big oaf is holding up the line. I want my copy of Invasion of the Candy Snatchers. You should check out this kid's book. It's hilarious. Wow, meta humor. Invasion of the Candy Snatchers. What's this book about? It's a graphic novel that questions the power and dynamics of interest in human grubbing relationships. It re examines the invasion myth as seen through the eyes of the disenfranchised Repugan youth. It's a comedy. Sounds hilarious. That monster seems to like it. And yes, this is an actual thing Double Fine made for, for this. I like it. I like it. I, I haven't read it yet, but 
You know what? I might read it sometime. Corvus? Stay back, human child. I'm on security duty. Thanks for teaching us all those combat moves. You helped us save Halloween. Huh? I don't even know you, human. Don't irritate me while I'm working. Back away. Okay, okay. Just wanted to say thanks. We'll, we'll let you do your duty. Sorry, kid. Shady's... Shady is closed. Closed? When have you ever turned down business, Shady? Nobody's fighting anymore. Creepy treats went out of style. I gotta find a new product. How about candy? That never goes out of style. Hmm. You may be on to something ki there, kid. Anything over here? Sadly, no. But, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Costume Quest has officially come to an end. It was a long haul. Due to the fact of multiple irritations and interruptions, I'm still, again, sorry about that. But, you know what? It was a good series. I want to thank each and every one of you for c coming with me on this journey till the end. I hope you all enjoyed this series. And, for now, I guess the only thing left to do is just sit back, relax, enjoy this festive music. Or, well, this spooky music that perfectly personifies a Halloween party. And I will see you all back in Fallout New Vegas to continue our adventures in the wasteland and beyond. Thank you all for watching. I'm TBG Hunter, and I will see you guys next time in... Excuse me, personal space. <laughs> Later, everyone.